for your health this morning. A new study suggests the majority of baby food found in our local grocery stores and stores across the country are unhealthy. It's a bold statement, but might not come as a surprise to health advocates and people who play really close attention to those food labels. Dr. David Geyer here in the studio to break down these findings, which um, as someone who's about to have a child <laughs> is very concerning. Yeah, I mean, it really, even to me, and we were talking uh, off the air, yeah. the nutritional part of this, maybe to physicians, not as uh, surprising, but it was the extent of it. 60% of foods for infants and toddlers on our supermarket shelves were rated as unhealthy based on World Health Organization guidelines, whether that's sugar, salt, calories, protein, added sugars and sweeteners. Uh, very, very alarming. I know just myself personally looking at some of the labels on formula, corn syrup is the top ingredient. It's wild to me uh, <laughs> when you, you look at it, and you realize it. Uh, there's also an advertising aspect mm -hmm. that plays into this study. And that's what I think is, is probably most problematic yeah. because what they're talking about is the front of the packages. And so it's natural if something's high in sugar, the, the manufacturer is not going to promote that. So they'll say uh, organic or non-GMO, some other health claim to sort of hide the fact that it's a problematic in another area. 99%, over 99% of the products had false uh, health claims on the front of their package. Some had four and five false claims. So it's really hard for the parents to know what's healthy. So what's your advice to parents out there now listening to this, hearing this for the first time, and they want to make sure what they're feeding their child is healthy, has some nutritional yeah. value. The main category of foods that were really unhealthy in this study were the processed foods, okay. the convenience foods, the snacks, the cereal bars, the fruit bars, the puffed uh, products. Those puffs, those yeah. are, I know kids love those. But tons of sugar, salt, yeah. and fat. And then the pouches, they've grown 900% wow. in sales over the last 13 yeah. years. They're basically pureed sugars and sweeteners. They're very, very sweet, much sweeter than fruits. Wow. So they almost become addictive to kids who now don't want the fruits that aren't sweet enough. Interesting. I know a lot of people too I've seen on social media, you can like get the silicone pouch and make your own pouch at home. That might be a, uh, you know, more nutritional way if you're making it with whole fruits and vegetables, sticking and blender. Um, what do you think parents really should gather from this? Yeah, I would try to avoid the process yeah. as much as possible. And once, you know, you get to six months, they rec still recommend breastfeeding up till six yeah. months, but then you start introducing uh, whole foods gradually increase the textures with fruits and maybe some vegetables to get them used to chewing and also to get them used to whole foods, not so much these super sweet processed foods. All right, Dr. David Geyer, always good advice. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. Stay with us. We have a lot more health